I'm eight years old and I'm thinking about suicide. I'm thinking about life, about death, about the maddening puzzle we have blindly left to piece together. I'm thinking about how hard it is to go to school when I don't know if today will end in a passing grade or a bloody nose. I'm thinking about my only friend, a man three times my age who continually puts his hands on my skin in a way that I know is not supposed to happen. I'm thinking about what it feels like to go to sleep at night and cover my head to hide from the fighting screams and the breaking glass that is coming from the other room in a place that I am forced to call my home. But more than anything, I'm thinking, what if? What if I didn't live this life anymore? I'm 15 years old and I'm thinking about suicide. I'm standing in a psychiatric hospital and there are long, thin lines of open skin trailing across my arms, chest, and stomach. There is a man standing across from me and he's asking me why. Why did you do this to yourself? I'm thinking I want to tell him, but I can't. I can't because I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it's because I just wanted the pain on the inside to reflect on the outside. I'm thinking maybe it's because my mind has become so overrun with illness that pain has become my only reality. I'm thinking maybe it's because no one quite understands what it feels like to be me. More than anything, I'm thinking what if? What if I didn't live this life anymore? I'm 20 years old and I'm thinking about suicide. I'm sitting on the edge of a rented bed in a place that I have no business calling home. My mind is overrun with memories from an entire lifetime. I'm thinking of days of when I was bullied, when the only thing I learned from elementary school was how to run from balled up fists and angry pointing fingers. I'm thinking of growing up in a house that taught me home meant nothing more than slamming doors and deep slow breaths. I'm thinking of how bad it hurt when I told her I loved her and she couldn't say she loved me back. I'm thinking about how I've spent more time in a psychiatric hospital than I have in a classroom. But more than anything, I'm thinking, what if? What if I didn't live this life anymore? I'm 34 years old and I'm standing in an altar. There is a woman standing next to me and she is so beautiful and so powerful. And she is saying, yes, yes, I will spend the rest of my life with you. I'm thinking how grateful I am in this moment, how fortunate I feel to have once had my heart broken so badly that I can truly appreciate what it means to have it healed. But more than anything, I'm thinking, what if? What if I didn't live this life? I'm 35 years old. I'm sitting on the edge of a bed that I own, in a house that I bought, in a place that I can truly call my home. And in my arms is a baby girl. Her eyes are so blue and so beautiful that they actually dissolve my heart. And I'm thinking, what if? My God, what if I didn't live this life? What if I had never spent so many nights hiding under my covers as a child? Would I have ever had the passion to build a home of my own built on a foundation of peace? What if I had never felt the hands of a man destroy my mind and my body before they ever had a chance to develop? Would I have ever been able to look my daughter in the eye and say with this level of commitment that I will protect you? What if I never lived this life? I'm 39 years old. I'm standing on the stage in front of a room full of people and there is a heart beating openly on my sleeve. And I'm thinking, what if? What if I never lived this life? What if I never learned to fight against the crushing grip of mental illness despite the countless times it tried to destroy me? Would I ever have the courage to tell you this? What if I never learned to stand face to face with my deepest fears and say, I will commit. I will commit to the rest of this life no matter how bad it hurts, no matter how scared I am. Would I ever have known what it feels like to have bravery not only flow through my words, but flow through my veins? I'm thinking, what if? 
What if I had never spent so many nights believing in a God who taught me the only thing I really needed to believe in was myself? What if I had never cried so many tears that I virtually baptized myself in a pool of self-discovery? What if I never lived this life? I'm standing in front of you today and I'm asking myself that question. What if I never lived this life? And I can tell you, I am so grateful that I have.